Hi, Scott Machine Gun Dad. Welcome back to another episode of I've Got This uh, Gun on the Wall Auction Scores. Um, I collect World War II guns. Nick and I are working through World War II guns. And um, I've never had a German PP pistol. Uh, never had the money. They were just outrageously money. Um, I bought an Inner Arms PPKS. And that video is not even up yet, but it'll be coming up. The so I wanted a German one on an auction site. I'm looking at a German one, and it says it looks okay on this side. So before I go any further, let me show you it up close, and you'll understand what I'm talking about. I've moved in close on the PP, your markings, the chip and the grip that I was bummed out about. No import markings. This is the best looking of the sides. Let me flip you over and show the other side. This is the ugly side. And as you can see, this gun must have laid in something that literally just peeled the bluing off because it's not sanding. Everything's clean and sharp and the nitro proof is still there. Also, the serial number is still in place. That's how I was able to date the gun to either December 39 or January 1940. Let's move back out. You just saw it up close, and so now you know that on this side, there's no finish. Like somebody, whoever had it, literally laid it in some kind of chemical, and it took the bluing off, Because, but it, you can feel it's still smooth. It yeah. wasn't sanded, and the, and the nitro proof is still there. So I figured, well, when I got this, I could get a part set and just throw a new slide on it. And uh, then I was really bummed out because the grip is chipped. And again, you'll, you already saw that in the close-ups that the grip is chipped. And I'm like, ah, God damn it. I'm going to have to go buy a grip now. So I might as well just buy a whole part set. So, but it, it's a German-made gun. So I'm, I took the serial number and I ran it. And it came back December 1939 and November 1940. This is a Nazi-era gun that I paid $400 for. Um... It's not a military gun. It doesn't have Waffen marks on it. And uh, actually, I went to one of the big collectibles. I think it might have been Legacy Collectibles website. And they did a series on the PPEs and the PPKs. And this was a commercially sold German gun in the 1940s, which would have been bought by a German officer or a party member. It has no import marks on it. So I'm thinking this is a war bring back. Um, but I can't prove it. So that's the story of how I got it and what it is. So I'm going to use this to fill out my World War II German collection because this is pretty much all the pistols now. Let's take it out and shoot it. All right, we shot it. What you think? Well, comparing this to the inner arms that we already shot, which, like you said at the beginning, the video hasn't been put up yet. Um, I'm not gonna talk too much about that, but you could really tell that the Germans knew what they were doing because this this system is is very good. Um, having it being 30, 32? 32 versus three eighty on yeah. the on the PPK. Thirty two is. It's it's so gentle shooting. It, you you just kind of plink and it goes where it needs to. The sights are really good. Uh, the trigger is really nice and crisp. Um, I had a little little trouble with the pinky because as yeah, there's no extension on the magazine. As you hold it, you can notice that my pinky kind of just sits underneath the magazine. So 
Other than that, uh, this 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 gun is great. It's a fun little little take a little holster, throw it on on a pair of sweatpants, or stick in your pocket, carry it around with you. It's it's really nice. Plus, all the history about it. The uh, my opinion of this is this is the caliber that this gun should be in. That it it shoots so nice in 32 versus 380. It's not nearly as snappy. You could run. I hit the plate all but one, and the one I missed is because I didn't wait for the front sight to clear up in my vision because my eyes aren't that great. Um, it's it's when people say they love the PP or the PPK. Now I know why. A German-made 32 PP is way above the Inner Arms made 380. Not in fit and finish because this gun's beat up. Oh yeah. But it's almost like the PP was built for the, the recoil of a 32. It balances better. Maybe we should do a comparison video sometime between the two. But there's an idea. I wanted to show you this because it fills out my World War II collection. This is where I keep telling you guys to go out and hit these little auctions because this was a, this was this was Montrose. This was a big auction, but nobody was bidding on this because of the finish being worn off. There was another PP on there that went for almost double the money. That wasn't in much better shape except it. it the finish was beat up, but it didn't have the complete wear. Um, I got a World War II PP for $400. You can't do that. That doesn't happen. So keep hitting them little auctions. Thanks for coming back to uh, the channel. Subscribe. What's the three? Like, comment, subscribe. And go subscribe to us on Rumble, too, because there's a lot of good stuff that we got coming up on there. Yeah, the cool shit's on Rumble. Yeah. Thanks again.